This is All India Radio Shillong, the Northeast News, read by Arundhati Paul. As the number of COVID-19 cases are rising fast in several parts of the country, we appeal to our listeners to be vigilant and to get fully vaccinated and help others, including children, between 15 and 18 years get vaccinated. As the new Omicron variant of coronavirus is causing concern, please continue to follow the three simple steps to stay safe. Wear a face mask. Maintain dogas ki duri for social distancing. Focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact National Helpline numbers 011-2397-8046 and 011-2397-1075. The Meghala Helpline number for COVID-19 is 108 and 1070. And now, the news in detail. The nation celebrated the 73rd Republic Day yesterday. The main function was held at Rajpath in the national capital where President Ramnath Kovind took the salute of the parade. The Republic Day parade ceremony started with Prime Minister Narendra Modi visiting the National War Memorial where he led the nation in paying tributes to the martyrs. Tableaus from different states, union territories and from ministries and departments showcasing various themes were taken out. A tableau depicting Meghalaya's 50 years of statehood, woman-led self-help group movement and cooperative societies was the first to roll out. The 73rd Republic Day was celebrated across the northeastern region along with the rest of the country yesterday. The state-level function in Meghalaya was held at Polo Grounds, Shillong, where the tricolor was unfurled by Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma. In his speech, Mr. Sangma highlighted that the overall law and order in the state was peaceful in the previous year and the government was successful in arriving at a resolution in six out of the 12 border areas of difference with Assam. The government has implemented schemes like PMGSY, Jaldivan Mission and Manrega in an accelerated pace and has brought changes in the lives of the people. Recognition was accorded to healthcare workers for their contribution towards the fight against COVID-19. Arunachal Pradesh Governor B.D. Mishra unfurled the national flag on a Republic Day at IG Park in Itanagar. In Mizoram, Governor Hari Babu Kambampati unfurled the national flag at the Assam Rifles Ground in Aizol. In Manipur, the state-level function was held at Kamla Fort Imphal, where the tricolor was unfurled by Governor Laga Nation. Nagaland celebrated Republic Day in a state-level function at Civil Secretariat Plaza, Kohima, the Chief Minister Nipurio unfurled the national flag. In Tripura, the Republic Day was celebrated with patriotic zeal and fervor at the SM Rifles Ground in Agartala, where Governor Satyadio Narayan Arya unfurled the national tricolor and took Rashtriya salute from the marching contingents. President Ramnath Kovind has approved the conferment of the Correctional Service Medals on Prison Personnel on the occasion of Republic Day. Dominic Wajri, Warder and Ria Suting Havildar from Meghalaya are among those selected for the Correctional Service Medal for Meritorious Service. Meghalaya yesterday reported 392 new COVID-19 cases while 254 more persons recovered from the infection. Four more deaths due to the viral disease were also reported. The state had 2,494 active COVID-19 cases on the last count. The East Khasi Hills District, including Shillong, has the highest number of active cases at 1,534. Till yesterday, 13,25,596 persons in Meghala has received the first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. 9,27,387 were fully vaccinated with the second dose and 16,297 had taken the third precautionary dose. Meghala Education Minister Lakhman Rumboy has said the government will review the situation frequently to decide if the atmosphere is conducive for resuming regular offline classes in schools in the Shillong agglomeration. The Education Department had issued a notification to allow offline classes from Class 1 to Class 12 in the rural areas and online classes in the Shillong agglomeration as of now. Mr. Rimboi said the state government has clearly specified the role of the district administrations and the governing bodies of all aspects of COVID-19. Examinations to be conducted by the Meghalaya Board of School Education will be held 
as scheduled. And with that, we end the Northeast News from All India Radio, Shillong. Have a nice day. Oh, <laughs>